My name is Shelby Jacobs. I was born April the 27th, 1935 in Dallas, Texas. Migrated to California as an eight-year-old. I was accustomed to the segregation in terms of housing and schooling and everything. As a matter of fact, I had to walk by a white school and a Mexican school and route to the black school. And as I progressed through high school, being an honor student and a four-year athlete and class president, when my principal of the school found out that I had chosen engineering, he said, Shelby, there are no black engineers. I recommend you take a trade. And I responded to that by not saying anything to him. It didn't anger me. It was my first moment of what I considered divine intervention. I considered that he was telling me that the odds would be great and I was willing to accept that challenge. And I wanted to pursue something that they said couldn't be done in spite of the fact that that may be true. I wanted to prepare myself in case the doors ever opened and they did. But my motivation was continually stimulated by the low expectations of people in general. They did not perceive that we could do things on the same basis much as they had gone through in athletics and other things, we were kept out of a lot of things, presumed we couldn't do it. And in this arena, I was committed to proving contrary to the, the assumption that we were not capable, we were inferior of doing these things, and that was a constant motivator. Growing up in areas remote, I was totally unaware of NASA, and when I got involved in pursuing engineering based on academic excellence. I didn't have a clue what NASA was. Even when I started to work for North America, which became Rockwell, I didn't know they were contracted to, to uh, NASA. That evolved afterwards. So I was kind of like a, a career chosen in the dark, truly blind faith. I hadn't a clue that I could be that. In fact, I was told that there were no black engineers but I pursued it in spite of that. The technology that I was responsible for de designing was a camera system that was provided, uh, the cameras themselves were provided to us by NASA from prior programs. And I got the assignment to adapt that system to the Apollo, which was the most powerful vehicle we had ever uh, undertaken to make sure that it, the cameras would endure the environment in order to capture the film that were required to prove that the separation was in fact valid. Uh, the results of, of my work of installing the, these cameras on the, the Saturn, which was the second stage of the Apollo, was the iconic photos that we see of the, uh, the inner stage separating and tumbling away in the distance, which was visual evidence that in fact it did not contact or in any way disturb the vehicle. But what you see is the iconic uh, photograph of the Earth's curvature, and it kind of led to the resolution to the, the Earth is flat versus the Earth is round. I, I, I remember back some time during Cesar Chavez where the, the phrase, si se puede. Well, I, I was uh, one of those, it can be done long before that be became a coined phrase. I was practicing that from the 1950s. I'm a strong proponent of equality to the nth degree. Whatever you can do should be permitted to do that. As a female or as anybody else, there should be no distinctions prejudicing your skills or your career path.